again keep mm-hmm. it in the spirit of remakes keep it in you know again with the the the, the thing that the one that run things when it comes to the uh, remakes of remakes and um, remasters and uh, repolishes is a uh, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. You know, um, now with a release date of February 29th, drop on a leap year. You know, when you're an anomaly, you drop on an anomaly date. You know, when you're about to shift the gaming spirit once again when it comes to an action RPG, you know, you, you decide <laughs> when to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you're the Jay Z of the RPG, you decide how the culture shifts. You know what I'm saying? I and think and eight we, is better. We, yeah. <laughs> right? So you make you, you you drop the trailer. Granted, they even said and and that and that was the subtle flex, right? That was a, that that's what puts all the whispers to talking about Square Enix being in trouble financially, about their games not hitting the same anymore. The subtle flex was just this is a six month or six week old or however many weeks old build that we're showing you guys right now. This isn't even where we're at currently. This is just a demo that we had. We had to put something together for the show. This isn't even where we're at in the development cycle. And oh, your concerns about the game? Yeah, so Sephiroth, I know you guys have wanted to play with him for 25 years. He's in the tutorial, like I said. Oh yeah, you, you wanted more team up attacks with the characters that we did with the UV DLC. What if everyone had a team up attack? Oh, and it doesn't it's not a limit break, it's just an attack we give you. Oh, you wanted Aerith to use her magic to enhance Cloud Swords? Yeah, you could do that. Oh, you want a Tifa to bounce off her magic, like the magical thing to, to, to trap an opponent? Yeah, she could do. He could do that. You want to swim? You could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is us. Dragon's Dogma. Capcom, <laughs> come on, come on, get with it. Come this on, is, it, it's us. <laughs> it's big us. <laughs> big se. Okay. You know. So before okay. I before I keep hyping it up, how you how do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Let me let me let me say this first, man. Um. You know, I was somewhat worried about how were they going to execute the open world. Are they going to give us uh, Resident Evil? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Are they going to give us a Resident Evil 3? Are they going to give us a Resident Evil 4? And I didn't know. But seeing what I saw TGS, I am well pleased. Mm. Very well pleased. Now, if I'm going to say anything, uh, why not just incorporate a jump button? But I guess it'll take people out the game. RPG. Um, but RPG. RPG. But at the same time, um, why? Where was this energy in Final Fantasy 16? Just saying. You took a lot of things from Tales of Arise, doing the co-op uh, attacks, right? And the power boosting. I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't. I don't. Placeholder. Oh man, placeholder, bro. <laughs> but sixteen should not feel like a placeholder. That. Yeah, sixteen should not feel yeah, like a placeholder. This is the next no. installment in the no, Final no, Fantasy no, franchise. No, no. <laughs> and no. it wind up becoming Madden twenty twenty. <laughs> no, because you remember, remember Anthony, remember our last conversation, remember those three versions of Lightning that we got. Yes, placeholders. Yeah. <laughs> placeholders. You mean you mean reskin Cloud? Oh yeah, one thousand percent. Alternate Dimension placeholder. Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> placeholder, bro. Placeholder. Mortal Kombat Dimensions. <laughs> Cloud Strife. Lightning. But yeah, yeah, keep, go, keep going, Dre. Tell me uh, your thoughts about the just rebirth and just oh, the rollout. Man. And- um, it's it's uh it's gonna it's looking like it's gonna be a day one, man. I'm feeling the then I'm feeling the 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 anxiety when they go from cutscene to cutscene, and then Zach's fair is still alive. So I'm trying to understand what's happening with that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, me being a, a Zach, a Zach, Zach is probably the character that I never got to play as because he didn't exist until Crisis Core. Um, and like, well, yeah, I like no, Zach he, fair. he existed. He just he gets just yeah, killed he, in the he cutscene. Existed. He just he was he always just there, killed, killed in the yeah. cutscene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the, the guy who spawned the Naruto version and, dr- and given the dream and the Hokago, what was it called? The, the will of fire, will of fire. to Cloud. <laughs> the will of, giving the will to fire to Cloud. Mm. You know, the guy who birthed it all. Yeah, I'm glad we get to play as him in a game scene and then play together side by side. That's kind of cool. That's kind of fire. Um, but um, I'll say this, man. This is a good year. 
Eclipse is a good year. Well, next year is going to be even no. a great year. It's no, gonna, you could say it's a overflow. good year. From the time, yeah. I want to say literally from the time Street Fighter Six dropped, we as fans of games have been blessed. Yeah, it's blessed. A Pick a blessing. Street Fighter Six, Mortal Kombat 1. If you're a Nintendo fan, you're getting two great Mario games essentially back to back. You're getting Spider-Man. And a Zelda. And, and, yeah, a, Zelda. and, and a Zelda. You got and Zelda. Xbox finally got they they their big win. They've had wins before, but their big win. They're the you can't deny it unless you're a hater win with Starfield. Like we yeah. we 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 it's been a blessed second half of 2023. Mm-hmm. But Tim, what about you? What are your thoughts on our rebirth and the the gameplay being rebuilt so far? Honestly, man, it's it's animation beauty at its finest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Animation beauty at it at its finest, man. Like I mean, because when I first heard of everything, I was a re- I was like, oh, y'all gonna split it up into like multiple parts. Mm-hmm. I was a little bit ticked off by that, but seeing like the amount of development power that they've been putting behind each one, even the Yuki um, DLC of how they handled that, I was like, you know what. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. and then the, and the transition from PS4 to PS5 was very smooth. So, like you know, enhanced graphics and things of that nature. Um, it's just beautiful, man. I'm really looking forward to the Sephiroth action, man. It's just like to see that person, like like the, I've never seen a person, a villain that is so meme worthy of just like that sinister, but also very. Um, celestial look in his eyes. Yes, yes. He walks that fine. Like you're right. He's so meme worthy. He should be a joke. When you see a, a slowdown cutscene of his hair flipping in the wind, and you just think of the first L'Oreal commercial you could think of, and he has a bigger than life story. You're just like, I want to make a joke, but I can't because this is actually really, really cool. I can't explain why this is so cool. <laughs> He doesn't even have two wings. He has one wing. He's the one winged angel. Like, oh, <laughs> like, like, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> How are you so uh, cool? <laughs> I, I think what's for me, what scared me in that sh- scene is when he, he it slices open the tank and the, uh, the, the body fall, that body falls out. Is this mm. me? And I saw his face and say, yo, he about to have that Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh moment, but the um <laughs> I call it the the Gara Vision. With oh Fish <laughs> Islands. <laughs> oh boy. And you already know it's over for you, but once that mm-hmm. happens, man. With the dramatic, yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Where where the where chocobos, do I- man? The cho- start with the chocobos, man. Where do Breeding I Breeding chocobos, yo. man. Like like Sonic Adventure Battle Two, like like Pokemon, start, yo. Where yeah. do I start? So, it, you know how we all have those one or two games that you played as a kid, where you're like, man, it would be great if this game continued to thrive and live on in a new fashion, and and like, what if they did this? And you start, you're almost doing fan fiction in your head of like, it would be cool if I could do this limit break in real time. And this character could team up with that character, and they could have these like dual attacks, and maybe this world got expanded a bit. And that's like you just, you're, as a kid, your imagination is overflowing, right? And when I'm, I, and of course, you played the PlayStation version, or I played the PlayStation version of Final Fantasy VII, and you're seeing these pixels, and of course, it's cutting edge at that time, but of course, it's still turn based combat and things like that. And you know, Tim has mentioned this plenty of times before, but I gushed over Dissidia because Dissidia felt like the real time action adventure version of final fantasy that i always saw in my head like this would make a great action adventure genre if done properly with the final fantasy aesthetics to it so on the 10th point about 16 kind of being a tech demo it's like yes you have the action adventure qualities but you, you you're missing that that little secret sauce of this is still an rpg series at the end of the day and it's just like all of that just got confirmed with the rebirth trailer like like tim said it's like there's no reason why these characters need to play different, but they do. Yuffie feels like a ninja. I feel like I'm playing a ninja in an RPG. Cloud feels like a guy with a gigantic sword. I've seen comp, uh, compilation videos of Tifa juggling characters like she's in Tekken and Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm like, who thinks to do this with these characters? This is every, like, again, this is my childhood fan fiction being played out on a beautiful 4k 60 frame per second three minute trailer of just like these are things that 
I knew I wanted. I didn't think I would get. And you guys are showing it to me with every single trailer. Where is the collector's edition and how soon can I get it? I need a steel book. I listen, need the booklet. <laughs> listen, I foresee like and, and this is what like <laughs> Like, especially, like, where they are now, I foresee, like, Namco doing another crossover characters with SNK and Square Enix again. Like, yes. when you said Tifa, bro, yeah, I was like, yeah, she could definitely be in Tekken. Especially easily. with this new, new combat system. Easily. And, of course, you know, SNK is being constantly being revived. Okay. Yeah. City of the Wolves. Okay. Bro, like, Geese Howard and knock this alone, bro. Like, people were just so captivated by those characters, bro. Like, even Geese the way, Howard. even the way knock this played when he, ju- when he summons the giant buster sword that, that literally slaps you halfway across the stage, bro. It's like, bro, what? What? And, like, and that's a, could, yeah. And that's the thing that I'm like, I'm, I'm so glad that these, these mechanics that were hindered in my mind by just an RPG setting are now being shown to other people who never played the, the franchise. Yeah. Like, for example, Yuffie. Yuffie is so caliber all day, bro. So caliber all day. Like, that weapon style combat, bro. It's just like, it, it's, it's there right in front of you, bro. And then Sephiroth being Virgil. Yeah, throwing the little, throwing the little, throwing the little uh, thing and warping into the sky. I was just like, "There's no way this game could fail." And from it's what impossible. people were telling me, from what people were telling me, I mean, let's. I want to give it up to him. The cinematography, Tim. To your point, this is probably the best written game, even though it's already everything was already done. Hmm. But seeing them being modernized now, back to your point, a couple of pods ago, Barrett not feeling like a character, but an actual person. Mm -hmm. The writing's great, man. The writing's Mm -hmm. good. Barrett Barrett never felt like, uh, you know, like an overstretch, you know, and to me, it Mm -hmm. felt like, you know, that's just how that he's just a a very charismatic guy. And when he talks to his um, adopted daughter, completely changes yeah tone shift Mm -hmm. his tone completely changes that's character seeing sephiro for the first time not make that crazy face even though he finds out that he's you know what i'm saying now you see actually he's not smiling is this me yo Mm -hmm. i am terrified (laughs) I'm i'm terrified you know um see i think I think the cinematography, man, is it, it helps it, it so much, mm-hmm. and its presentation, these attacks, and I know this is not, this is not, <laughs> this is not everything they're showing us. Oh, so we about to see some no. crazy oh, stuff, oh, man. And um, seeing the boss designs, man, in modern time again, because Final Fantasy, in my opinion, nobody draws any villains or create any monsters better than they do. Mm-hmm. I wanted to play 11 because of what I was seeing. Mm-hmm. And that's not even my style of game. Yeah, MMOs, like, ew. you know. These look cool, though. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, oh, man, hats off to that team, man. <laughs> Too bad 16 doesn't look like that. But, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you said in the group chat, Royal Edition can maybe save that bad boy. Maybe. Oh, yeah, we get we getting a Royal Edition. We get No, no, we're getting a Royal Edition. Mm-hmm. We're getting a Royal Edition, uh, Special Edition, DMC. <laughs> This director's time we can cut. do seventeen <laughs> directors cut, seventeen more combos, man. Mm. And then yeah, yeah, so I really feel like that's what that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, we we can move on because I will literally just just gush all day. I didn't. Re- I really didn't see anything that I was like, oh, this looks problematic. Of like, this may not work. Everything to me, I was like, the it camera, the air, but they did say it's old build. build. It's old build. Yeah, yeah. If the camera's your issue, I'm not even. I I can sleep peacefully at night. There's, uh, there's nothing there that I'm, I'm worried about at that point. The, ca- the camera? The camera? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, you know, I'm sure they'll continue to surprise me. I'm sure there'll be more things that we, again, we didn't know that they could pull off that would just, you know, even, again, something as simple as seeing Cloud and them hop on the Chocobo, go into the ocean, or hop off the Chocobo, go into the ocean. 
just the level of exploration of like, yeah, you're not getting an open world, you're getting a fully explorable open hub. What more could I ask for? What more could I ask for?